Jeremy Clarkson doesn't hesitate to express his opinions on any matter, and this time, he has chosen to speak on the monarchy, which has been an integral part of the United Kingdom for centuries. Many of you might already know that the monarchy has been facing immense criticism from the public following the revelations that King Charles has profited millions from NHS parking fees on his private land. Recent reports have revealed that the Duchy of Lanchester, which is the monarch's private property empire, is charging an NHS trust at least £11.4 million in rent over the next 15 years to store its ambulances. Since many people have now started talking about replacing the king, Jeremy Clarkson argued that replacing the king with an elected head of state would lead to chaos. He started his article in The Times by writing, I reckon that pressure to abolish our monarchy is building. It's only a whisper at the moment, a barely noticeable dust devil on an otherwise still day. But it's there all right, and it's going to get bigger. He then noted that replacing the king could be the worst idea, and claimed that in recent months, U.S. voters were left to choose between a madman and a madwoman. He continued, Lefties don't like royals and want to be rid of them as quickly as possible after seizing power. I mean, look what happened shortly after the Russian Revolution. The proto-starmers decided it would be a good PR coup if the inside of the Tsar's head was turned into a sort of Jackson Pollock wallpaper. And with the ultimate symbol of privilege gone, there was no maypole for the royalists to rally round, which meant the bread queues could form in an orderly fashion. In the end, Jeremy Clarkson wondered what would happen to Britain if it replaced King and went to the system of electing a head of state. Jeremy wrote, Maybe now is a good time to wonder what would happen if the King was no longer our head of state. We'd need an elected president instead, and that rarely works out. I mean, look at America. He continued, but in reality, Nigel Farage would be on the list. The voters like familiarity, and they would need to be from the shouty end of the mad left, which leads me to suggest Carol Vorderman. Jeremy concluded his article by writing, So there's your choice, Mr. O'Brien. President Farage or President Vorderman? Or would you rather keep King Charles? Right. Good. Move on. Do you agree with Jeremy Clarkson? Comment down your thoughts.